Hello students, welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 8, Strings and String Manipulation. Content of the session is String Formatting Operators, Membership Operators. What is String Formatting? String Formatting Operator is one of the most exciting feature of Python. Formatting Operator percentage is used to construct strings, replacing parts of the strings with the data stored in variables. Here we are going to format the output using the operator percentage. Here is an example. Name is Rajarajan. Mark is 98. They are giving a print statement as name followed by percentage yes and marks followed by percentage D. Then the double close, double quotes after the percentage of name comma mark. That means the percentage first one is from the variable name, next one is from the variable mark. If it is having more means everything should be within the bracket in a proper order. So Raja Rajan the name and marks 98. Here, here are the characters which can, which can be used as formatting. Percentage C for character, D or I for single decimal, signed decimal integer, only positive numbers. Then percentage S for string. So everything is given. So we can use one by one and we can check. See this example, name is given, mark is 98 and then we are taking another average is 90.2. So name percentage S, yes, mark percentage D, Ma, name comma mark. Here name average percentage F. So it should be printed in float. Is it clear? So we must say the format here at the end we have to say the variables but it should be in the correct order so as it is f it is giving us 90.200 with the precisions if i change it as d means it will take only the whole number can you see the difference so we have we can format based on this characters given in the python library escape sequence escape sequence starts with the backslash and it can be interpreted differently when you have you single code to represent a string all the string single quotes inside the string must be escaped Similar is the case with double quotes. Have you remember the single quotes, double quotes, triple quotes with the string? If a statement is having a single apostrophe, I cannot use single quotes. If the statement is having double quotes, means I have to use, uh, that means the word should be enclosed within triple quotes. So, but sometimes there may be a situation I want to use only single quotes. But at the same time, I want to use the single apostrophe inside that. That time, we can use this escape sequence. There are many escape sequences in Python. Slash, new line, slash, double slash, back slash, slash, apostrophe, single quotes. Here, the slash will not appear. The character next to the slash will do something in that output. See this example. They said, comma, what's there? Question mark. And it is within double quotes. Able to follow me? They said, comma, double quotes, what's single apostrophe, there, question mark, again a double quotes. Everything is within triple quote. So it is going to print as it is, as we like. 
Is it clear? Now, it's normal as you know, as you learnt in previous video. Now, see here. They set. First one is single quotes, comma, double quotes, slash. This single quotes is given in a escape sequence method, slash, single quotes. There, question mark, double quotes, then single quotes. No triple quote. Here it is triple quote. Is it clear, children? Here only single quote, but this apostrophe S is taken as escape sequence slash we are using slash before the apostrophe means it is treated as a escape sequence so the slash will not appear the same time it will not say any error it will give the uh, output clearly same output am i right what is given with the triple code is given using a single code but we used here a escape sequence so you understand the usage of escape sequence? One more example is there. See this line, double quotes, they set slash this double code and this double code is treated as escape sequence. So our whole statement is within the double quotes. Here it is triple code, here it is single code, here it is double code but the statement having the double code is treated with the escape sequence so the mistake is here the print is not properly typed so same output they said what's there question mark within double quotes here it is within triple code, next one is with single code, next one is double code. But for that, they have used a escape sequence. So you should have some practice to work out clearly. Is it clear, children? There is a format function. Format function used with the strings is very versatile and powerful function used for formatting strings. You know percentage yes, percentage C format characters. Here there is a function, format function. Many of the time you will get confused with the question asked in the exam. So you should be clear with format string, formatting the string, format function. So, it is said to be format function. It is also used with the strings. Curly brace are used to as placeholders or replacement fields which get replaced along with format function. So, example is number 1. They are getting number 1, number 2 and they are printing like say here sum of first one. Here we have used a percentage D. Instead of that, open brace, curly, uh, open curly brace, close curly brace. Next, and the number two is another value. Dot format number one, num two, num one plus num two. You we'll see the example. See the example. Num one, getting the number from the user. Num two, getting the number from the user. Then num1 one value num2 another value so sum of sum of 7 next and 8 is 15 num1 num2 followed by num1 plus num2 but the same thing can be represented as so the previously we have learned this same program sum of instead of curly brace i can use percentage t as a design teacher then percentage D integer is percentage D because summation also percentage D. So percentage num1, num2, same summation. We will get the same format of output. So number 1, number 2. So 
so first one is used with format function next one is using format characters so both the method can be used to represent the string next one is membership operators the in and not in operators can be used with strings to determine whether a string is present in another string therefore these operators are called as membership operators in not in so there is a program enter a string we are another they are getting the string one from the user string two is python if python is in the given string that is str2 in str1 if the user given as welcome to python programming as we are asking to search for the word as python so it will say found if it is not means the output will be not found see the example so you enter a string the search word here is python so i am giving as welcome to python programming so it is saying as found because the word is here if we are giving another output as not found is it clear it's easy in python to search a word so you have learned concatenation up and repeat string slicing format characters escape sequence format function and membership operators practice one by one practice the program which is given in your book also thank you have a good day